Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at the solar wind as it prepares to amplify intensity in a geomagnetic storm watch. Then we'll ease out with three great pieces of eye candy from the sun, Mars, and deep space. But let's start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Big dark coronal hole turning towards the limb, surrounded by plasma filaments, moderate sunspot group to the south, and while eruptive activity and flaring has been extremely low, the coronal hole was transequatorial and its solar wind is about to arrive. When we look at the telemetry, we see two things of note, blue line beginning its flip, phi angle, and as it does so, the yellow line rises. That's the pre-stream density wave that always brings the phi action. And when the density drops out later today or tomorrow, the purple line below it will surge upward, plasma speed, as the coronal hole stream impacts the Earth. NOAA is forecasting a level 2 geomagnetic storm. We'll be watching. Sticking with the sun here, we find the most detailed shots of the solar surface ever. The zebra stripes at the edges of the sectors are magnetic stripes, like a curtain blowing in the wind, just magnetically, only about 20 miles across, and this makes the sectors electromagnetically housed. Folks, they know this new telescope is going to give them new data, but what I don't think they realize yet is this is the segmentation of the sun's version of the global electric circuit with glow mode plasma and our inability to see below it to the actual surface of the sun. Mars is up next. The rover has found the perfect spot to dig deeper. Perfect spot for what? This is where the entire team believes that if they're going to dig down and find evidence of past life on Mars, this will be it. Kind of hard to disagree when you read their rationale. Good luck, guys. Seriously. Last but not least, in the eye candy, we are seeing the first shots from the Vera Rubin Observatory. It'll map the entire sky every few days, seeking transients and stacking images of significant emission in the low visibility range, revealing what our eyes are unable to see. Pretty incredible density here. Folks, while we are waiting for the solar wind amplification and the solar storm, check out the tons of major events coming this season at Observer Ranch. We've got a prepper event this weekend, Pole Shift Conference July 12th, everything about what's happening to our galactic neighborhood in one day there. Then we've got Observer Speed Dating end of the month where we'll have a lot of people coming to find their prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. There are more conferences and special events the rest of the year as well. Pick the best time for you to come and see us or your favorite upcoming event. Make it out to Observer Ranch this year and it all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.